the third physics class here on uh, Shekufe. And today we're going to go through uh, the center of the mass and um, to talk about the center of the mass and or the center of gravity and to, uh, to know what it is and how we can find it on the regular shape objects or the irregular shape objects and what methods do you use to find is their center of the map. Um, it's the center of the mass is the point at which the whole weight of the object uh, appears to um, act on that point only and for any orientation of the object. So it is a point at which the whole weight of the object appears to act on for any orientation of the object. It doesn't matter where you uh, shift it or how to direct it and where you place it, how you place it, on which side. So at any orientation that it has gifted, it, uh, that weight of the whole, the whole weight of the object um, acts on that point of view. And the other thing is that it can be inside or outside of the object. And um, for the regular shape object, uh, the center of the mass for the regular shape object, it will be at the center of that shape. For example, we have a polygon like this. You can see the center of the polygon will, uh, will be the center of the mass. Uh, the center of the mass for the circle um, will be at its center and here for the uh, square here we have the center of the mass at its center again and for the triangle also the same. So if um, you change the position of the center of the mass of an object uh, it will affect on the stability of the object. The position of the center of the mass affects the stability of an object. What is stability? Stability is the ability of an object to go back to its original position after being slightly, uh, the, uh, slightly tilted. We have three types of the stability. One of them is the stable, the other one is unstable stability, and the last one is neutral stability. The first um, type of the stability of the objects is the stable equilibrium. Uh, in this uh, example, uh, uh, there is an object, this is a triangle, is placed on the ground uh, from its base. And at this place, you see the center of the mass of this triangle is much lower, that's very that's close to the ground. Then we slightly tilt it, and um, you see that the center of gravity um, is placed in a higher position now. But when you um, remove your hand, the object will return um, back into uh, its original position. The reason is that the object want to stay um, uh, somehow in a position that the cent its center of the mass is much more uh, lower and much more closer um, to the ground. Because the lower the center of the mass and closer it is to the ground, more stable it will be. So you can see that when you tilt the object, you raise the center of the gravity. The center of gravity is raised. You see the difference between the two centers positions. One is much lower and the other one is much higher. So when you tilt it, you bring it higher and it wants to go back to a more stable position. So it returns and stay uh, exactly at the same uh, position on the ground. The second type of the stability is the unstable one. Um, in this diagram, as it is illustrated here, you can see we have a triangle. It is placed somehow that um, it, it is not open over, it is uh, fixed on this position, but the center of the mass is very high above the ground, it's placed so high. So you see the center of the mass here, it is very high. So when you 
slightly tilt the, the triangle because the center of the mass uh, falls outside of the base here, so it causes the triangle to topple over and to take a position in, in, the, in which uh, the center of the mass uh, has the lowest uh, position compared to the others. So here, uh, the center of the mass is very high and here it is very stable compared to the other uh, because this one is much more lower than the other one. But here, because the center of the mass falls outside of the base, is this one, the center of the mass is exactly on this point, okay, the T, so it doesn't move, it can remain stellar C. But here, because it is outside of the base, so it causes it to, uh, to topple over. And finally, the last form of the stability is neutral. It means that if you displace the object or uh, change the orientation of the object, the object will remain in its new position after being displaced. You can see the illustration here that we have a triangle here. Uh, this, um, the first position, uh, after that, it has been displaced and placed in this orientation. And um, you see the both center of the mass, they are placed in the same height from the ground. So the center of the gravity is the same as before displacement. So in a result of this, the object stays in its new position. You may ask me how we can increase the, uh, uh, the stability of the objects. Um, in order to increase uh, stability of the objects, you have to make sure that uh, the object has a low uh, center of the mass or gravity and at the same time a very wide base area. So the lower the center of the mass, or the, uh, the lower the center of the gravity, the, uh, the more stable is the uh, object. And also, at the same time, uh, the wider the base uh, area of the object, um, it can be more stable. Maybe you are asked to determine the uh, center of the mass of an irregular object. So what should you do? I will tell you now what to do. The process, step by step, is as follows. So if you have an object here like this, it is irregular shape, I mean it doesn't have a definite shape. So you need a pin, you have to, have, um, to make a hole inside the one side of this object. And so the first step, you take the object, make a hole on the top of the object, like this. Then suspend it on a pin so it hangs freely like this. After that, then attach a piece of a string with a weight on it. This is a string and we have put a load or a weight here to pull it down. After it uh, swings a little and it stops at the position. Then, uh, we call it as a plumb line, then at the full uh, step, draw a vertical line when the string rests on the object. You have to uh, draw a line exactly uh, where the string um, is placing on this uh, object here. So I make a line, I draw a line here. After the fourth stage of our uh, experiment, we can get uh, such an uh, result here. So on the object we have a line, uh, we drew a line here and a second hole we have made here to repeat the process. So the fifth stage, make a second hole on the object. So it was the first one, this is the second one. And repeat the process. So it means that you have to hang it on the, uh, on the wall by using a 
keep the legs to suspend in these swings and it is fixed on a moment. And then you see that the uh, string um, um, becomes a straight and rests on the uh, object. And that time you have to take the marker or a pen and to draw a line exactly on the uh, where the string um, rests on the object. So you will have another line here. And you can put more holes, more than two, and you can do the same thing. And you will find that finally all the lines that you draw will meet on one point. That point will be the center of the mass of the object. As you can see here, the first line and the second line, these where they meet each other, when they cross each other. This point is the center of gravity or the center of the mass of the object. Where the lines cross shows the center of the mass of object. Hope you have understood this uh, part of the subject very well. Thank you for watching this video.